Rivian is making big moves to adapt to changing market conditions. The most recent of which was the partnership with VW that will bring $5 billion in much needed capital to Rivian and the negotiating clout of one of the biggest car companies in the world. That follows Rivian's plans to pause expansion outside of its existing manufacturing facility given the slower than expected growth in demand for its products. Overall, Rivian has done an excellent job dealing with the difficult operating conditions for EVs. So let's zoom in on the details of Rivian's latest developments. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. Rivian said that during the second quarter of 2024, they made significant progress driving greater cost efficiency, enhancing their products, strengthening their balance sheet, and validating the differentiated nature of their technology stack. They believe the introduction of the second generation of R1 and the partnership with VW will fundamentally improve Rivian's long-term profit trajectory and growth profile. And I agree with that statement, especially the last sentence there. The partnership with VW will certainly improve the profit profile. How is that going to happen? Most notably, it's with supplier agreements. Rivian is a very small car company when put in context of the worldwide car industry. Overall, there's roughly 80 million cars sold worldwide annually, and Rivian is planning to sell just above 50,000 units this year. They're a small drop in the bucket. So when Rivian calls suppliers for materials, they don't receive favorable treatment in terms of pricing and other terms. But when it's VW helping Rivian make those agreements with suppliers, that's going to enhance their negotiating power. Perhaps VW makes the calls instead of Rivian making the calls and they can get better pricing on products, pricing for larger scale. If you're purchasing only 50,000 units, you're not getting those economies and scale because you're competing against other car companies that are buying for 5 million units, 10 million units and more. And so now with the partnership, VW can call on behalf of Rivian and receive favorable treatment for materials. That alone will drive down the cost of goods sold per unit and that will improve profitability for Rivian. It'll also reduce risk because they will get the materials they need. They won't be put behind schedule. They won't be treated as last place as would be expected if you're just doing 50,000 units and you're a supplier, you're of course going to prioritize companies like VW and Honda and Toyota and others that produce many, many more millions of units. So just with that, it's going to help Rivian's profitability. Now it's still early days in this relationship. So more news and more positive impacts will be released. And just with the injection of that capital on top of the supplier agreements, that will help Rivian significantly. So very exciting news for Rivian stock investors to be sure. So they also announced their expected technology partnership with VW, which we believe creates a robust capital roadmap, meaningful cost efficiencies, and demonstrates that our vertically integrated software and electronics technology has the potential to serve as the basis for new high return business opportunities. So let me simplify that. Now that they have this partnership with Rivian, with VW for the technology. When Rivian invests in technology, instead of it being just for 50,000 cars, that investment can, co can go towards many, many more units. And so the scale of the technology investment is vastly expanded now. So Rivian with the partnership of VW can spread those costs out across many more units and therefore the cost per unit for technology investment will also be lowered. So in addition to lower supplier agreement prices, they're also going to get lower price per unit cost on the technology investment that they're already doing in-house. So this spreads out that cost base. So this really, really underscores how important the deal was 
for Rivian. Now, they did experience an improvement in gross profit per vehicle delivered in the second quarter compared to the first quarter of 2024, but that's before the benefits of the VW arrangement even are accounted for. The plant is now in process of ramping production of the second generation of R1, which should further enhance the profit improvement. Remember, Rivian told investors that they expect to be gross profit positive by the end of this year, and it looks like they're making great progress on that goal. So one of the ways they're doing that is by optimizing operational efficiency. The second generation R1 body has been re-engineered to optimize cost by eliminating 65 parts and reducing nearly 1,500 joints. Also, cycle time improvements were made through the entire plant to support an overall expected increase in R1 vehicle production line rate of 30% solid improvements to be sure. And as I highlighted earlier, they are reiterating their fourth quarter gross profit target and beyond 2024, they're planning for further profit improvement driven by reducing material costs, leveraging their fixed costs due to the anticipated R2 volumes and scaling their revenues per delivered unit through product mix and pricing, software and services and other revenues. Remember right now they're still selling their R1 product, the R1 SUV and the R1 truck. They're planning the R2 in 2026, and that's going to come at a price point of around $40,000, $45,000, much lower than where they are now, where their cars are $70,000, dollars 90000 even $100,000. So that lower price is going to draw in more customers and that greater scale, again, economies in scale, right? The more units you produce, the cost per unit gets decreased because you're spreading your cost across more units and therefore allows for greater profitability potential if you can sell those units at the respective prices that you forecast around $40,000, $45,000. So Rivian updating investors here, giving them great insights into their plans and making progress as is expected. And this is what you expect from a business. You expect the business to get better at what they do. Learn from your actions, see what's working, see what's not working, understand the response from consumers, what they want, adjust your operations, match it to consumer response, and grow in that fashion. Rivian has done a great job of this. The EV industry, especially in the US, has experienced very, very difficult times here in 2024. The forecasted demand for electric vehicle sales in 2024 was much higher than the actual results here in 2024. The EV industry forecasts for sales in 2024 were way too optimistic and companies plan for these optimistic results and they're now having to adjust to the market reality of lower consumer demand for EVs. Rivian has done an excellent job of adapting to those conditions. Before I let you go, let me tell you about the greatest deal on YouTube. With just a click of a button, you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.